Hi folks, uh, I hope you're doing okay. It's Sunday the 11th of April, it's about 20 past 4 in the afternoon. Um, a bit later filming today because Tobin's not been very well, bless him. Uh, he came downstairs probably about 8 o'clock or so this morning and was a bit upset and said he didn't he felt sicky. Um, and we have to sort of say to them, do you mean you're going to be sick or you just don't feel very well? But no, it turned out he was going to be sick several times. Um, so we got him um, sort of cosy up in bed, gave him some medicine uh, and that stayed down. Cowpaw stayed down for a little bit and then he tried to have some water and that came back up. Um, and then he was sick again through the morning and then we tried to give him some more medicine probably about 12 o'clock and that and a, he had a quick little drink of water we were telling him not much uh, and that came back up and then Paul and Jack went out for a bike ride I took Jack out for a ride yesterday after I filmed as well after I filmed? before I filmed? after I don't know me and Jack went for a ride but Tobin um, Paul and Jack went out for a ride uh, this afternoon so Tobin messaged me and said can I come downstairs and watch a film on like he was going stir crazy sitting up in his room he couldn't seem to nod off so he came down here and um, watched Iron Man 3 and part way through he said can I try and have a drink yeah because he got down here and threw up again because um, he'd had a little drink of water he was like I'm thirsty so he had a tiny sip of water and, but halfway through the film he was like could I try having something that's you know what did Paul suggest um, an ice lolly you know, because that's what Paul used to have if he was feeling, you know, like if he couldn't keep anything down, trying to, you know, have a, an ice pop or something just to try and get a bit of sugar uh, in him. So he had a, like an ice lolly, just a, just a swirl, you know, just liquid, no, no ice cream or anything like that, just a, a, a nice pop sort of thing. Um, and then he said, could I try some juice? And they had some, um, Ritz crackers, and he managed a few of them. And I said, you know, Paul said, Do you want some you know, proper cream crackers with a little bit of butter on? And he said, can, Yes, can I have that? And can I have some cucumber with it? So he had through a couple of them, and his, his colour picked up. So hopefully, he's on the mend now, but bless him, he was like, I don't like it. I'm like, Mate, it's, being sick's awful. No one likes it, and we don't like seeing it, you know. As parents, we don't like seeing it happen to you because we there's nothing you can do really, is there? You just have to sort of rub their back and clean up the sick, and you know. But bless him, he's doing okay now. He's uh, he's talking away like at 100 miles an hour, so I think he's feeling better. It's always a, a good um, good gauge of how he's doing if he's talking or not. He wasn't really talking this morning, so we knew it was serious. <laughs> um, bless him. So yes, he's. I think he's gone to play on his Xbox. He was just checking in with Paul and Jack when he went upstairs. Um, so, let's talk about some crochet. Uh, I finished this chap yesterday. Isn't he cute? He's so sweet. I love him. Um, so, I can't, I can't remember the name of the lady whose video it is, but I will link it below um, as I have done the past few days it's a noisy car um, so yeah I love him <laughs> so cute um, so his hat is stuffed uh, in the video she glues it on uh, but I sewed it on because I don't want to glue uh, she used like super glue like the yoohoo stuff is it you hate you um, I don't have any of that and I didn't want to risk hot gluing onto it because the hot glue goes you know if it touches your wall your wall's dead hello sorry um <clears throat> i had a husband interruption um but that was a couple of hours ago um and i went in the conservatory and filmed but the set i've just put it on the computer and the sound was cutting out so i'm gonna delete that bit and just film a really quick end to this video um Tobin is still feeling okay, which is good. He's had a little bit of Sunday lunch, so some chicken, some roast potatoes. He had a bit of Yorkshire pudding, 
a few carrots. So hopefully he's, he's, he seems like he's picked up in himself as well, which is always good. So let's hope that's passed. Um, I have another item to show you because I had um, I've had five requests in the last week for crochet. Um, I got asked for a sloth hanging basket which I bought the pattern for um, if I remember I'll link it below and I haven't started yet um, that was a woman at school then another woman at school look at my chin it's not that red in real life and I get on the camera I'm like oh. um, another woman has asked me uh, another school mum has asked me if I could make two breasts for her colleague who works in the maternity ward uh, or in the maternity department who wants to um, use them for breastfeeding demonstrations so she wants one in like a light skin tone and one in a darker skin tone excuse me, lips are soft so I will give you the warning now if you've got any small children uh, watching or, or you know you don't want to see a crocheted breast look away now and I'll tell you when it's safe to look again so there it is, nothing you know and incredibly risque um, I was gonna do um, I'll get it it's off the screen now so if you weren't looking away um, I looked at the knitted knockers site because they have a crochet video and pattern um, for, for if you crochet and you wanted to donate to the charity if you don't know knitted knockers is charity for um, ladies who've had mastectomies um, and you know just so they don't have to buy a really expensive um, prosthetic or you know a bra that's got one cup filled or, or both or whatever um, I think it's been going for quite a long time now um, so I looked at that pattern but the the one on Mr Knockers for some reason doesn't or from what I could tell doesn't have a nipple on it and as this is going to be for breastfeeding demonstrations I thought it needed one so I just googled you know, uh, like Knitted Knockers crochet variant and I'll, I'll link the site I found it on it's a free pattern um, works really easy I use two strands or a double stranded DK um, because I didn't have any uh, worsted uh, in the right colours so I've got uh, this was the um, dove grey that I used to um, edge my friend's blanket and it's not grey it's like a got like a brownie tinge to it and the um excuse me the skin ish tone is just beige from Aldi because I thought I held like that against my arm and you know it's either I go for like a mushroom or a pale colour or like a, a beigey colour I think it's much more of a realistic skin tone than like peach or anything and then I've got I think it's mink, one of the Derrimore's, um like lighter browns that I ordered. I'm going to do that for the darker skin tone, and then I'll get in touch with the lady and say it's done. Yeah, because I think you know buying the, any dummies or anything like that to to demonstrate breastfeeding on. I imagine it's quite expensive. Um, and I don't know if they get them on. You know, <clears throat> probably getting them provided, getting the funding for them is difficult. So if I can help out. <laughs> So be it. Then I got asked yesterday morning to make a squirrel knocking from Peter Rabbit. So I found a pattern that was in the Animals at Work Amagurumi book. Um, I think it's on amagurumipatterns.net. It's where you can view all the Zoomagurumi books as well, and where you can purchase them all from. Um, it's, it's in the Animals at Work book. So I've sent her the picture of the pattern and said, Would this work? Uh, and I'm just waiting for a yay or nay because I'd have to buy the pattern book. I'll probably just get the PDF because um, it's cheaper than buying the. I think it's nine fifty for the book on Amazon, and it's six seventy five for the PDF. So I'll probably get the PDF book. Uh, I think it's about five five pound thirty or something to get just that squirrel pattern. So I'll get the PDF of the book probably. Uh, and then I went out to get in the car yesterday morning and. Uh, our neighbours asked if I can recreate their daughter's crochet blanket that got made for her while she was, well, while she was 
well, the, the mum was pregnant with her. And so I've said yes, uh, I can do that. I'm happy, happy to crochet. Um, I think I told you that yesterday, didn't I? Um, and then, oh yeah, I got a message last night from a mum of one of Jack's friends asking if I could make two blankets for her twin nephews. Uh, like, just like granny square, blank, just one big granny square. But in uh, colour changing, one in a rainbow, but in a specific order colour, colour order, sorry, and one in just red and green. So I said, yes, of course, because, you know, who doesn't love a granny? Um, they need to be done by the 8th of May. There's no size given, but uh, I've ordered yarn <laughs> for these blankets, um, mainly because I, I could probably cobble together a full rainbow or other colours that have been requested. However, I've only got like a ball, maybe in a bit of each. Um, so if I run out, I like the blue I've got, I think is LD. So I can't get that, you know, at the drop of a hat. Um, I've got several, like, several balls of red, but I'm not entirely sure they're all the same red. They all look it, but when you start working, you might, it might be quite clear that it's not, so. I've ordered like two balls of most of the colours, uh, just from Mariners. But I'm really enjoying working with uh, the yarn I've had from them. Uh, so, I'll go go with them. Um, that's it, so I've got three blankets, another boob <laughs> to do, um, a sloth, possibly a squirrel. And then, yeah. <laughs> Anything else? So I'm going to April, May, get set aside slightly for to be working on a blanket or two or three. Um, but I'll still do videos every day, it just might not be as amigurumi focused as I originally intended. Yeah. We'll see. So I'm going to leave it here and get this on the computer now. Um, and I can clear off some space on the camera and stuff. Let's go shower the boys. We have measured my the inside of my shed because I think I'm getting some new storage stuff in there. Because my wall cabinet with the glass doors, one of the glass doors popped off, and Paul, Paul sort of said, "There's just too much stuff in there." That's why I'm surprised it hasn't broken before now. And you, you know, he says, "Look at how it's bowing." I'm like, so I've measured. I've got birthday money. Um, so I might hit IKEA website get some wool storage maybe Paul could buy it me because I'd send the headphones back <laughs> yeah. and spend money on wool storage you'll love it anyway I'm gonna go I hope you're all well I will catch up with you tomorrow and um, let you know how I've got on with everything so take care and I'll see you then bye guys <laughs>